Oh, fantastic. Good to see y'all here. My name is Mickey Bell, and I am a comedian from Birmingham, Alabama. I don't know if I'm funny. We'll find that out in about seven minutes. How, by a show of hand, how many Huckabee fans do I have here tonight with a drinking problem? God bless you. God bless you. I, I appreciate you coming. We're trying to reach people for God, and here we are at the Huckabee Show. We got a bunch of drunks showing up. It is so good to see you here. Isn't this a beautiful place? Goodness. I saw this, and I thought, this is what Joel Osteen's bathroom looks like. This is, <laughs> this is it. This is it. Well, they kind of warned me uh, that they had cameras here. And you know the old saying, the camera adds... 10 pounds. There's a camera. There's a camera. There's a camera. There's a camera. Y'all, I weigh 75 pounds. I know it doesn't look like it, but I weigh 75 pounds. And I hope all my women here, I hope everyone's wore your Spanx. Well, you know, Spanx, it's, it's actually in the Bible. I don't know if you know this or not, but it's actually in the Bible. In Jeremiah, it says to gird up your loins. <laughs> So I, hope, so I hope you're girded. Hope you're girded. Hey, it's also a good reminder to turn off your cell phones. I have a good friend that uh, he's notorious for leaving his cell phone on. And he also has these weird ringtones that play at the very worst moments in life. Do you know what I'm talking about? So the last time it happened to him, he was at his great-great-grandmother's funeral. Yeah. The minister says, we've gathered here today to celebrate the life of great, great grandmama. And about that time, his ringtone went off and it was ding dong, the witch is dead. I did. <laughs> so please silence your phones. <laughs> silence your phones. This is, this is new for me. I have never done anything like this. Uh, I've been doing churches, uh, trying to get people saved. So we've been in a lot of Baptist churches, but um, <laughs> a lot, I mean a lot. Do I have any Pentecostals in the crowd? S see, you can always tell Pentecostals because the hand goes up and it's an automatic, woo! <laughs> see, the Baptists, they can't raise their hand unless there's a motion in a second. So the Church of God's got it. <laughs> Listen, this is funny because the very first show I ever did was a Church of God church. Yeah, well, God bless you. She just got saved last Sunday. A church of God church. A church of God. They brought me in. This church of God pastor said, now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to sing two songs, and we're going to turn it over to you, and you're going to make us laugh. Well, if you know about the Pentecostals, you know that two songs means that 45 minutes later, I'm standing in my seat on the second row. About that time, I hear a scream from the very back. Now, where I'm from, that means somebody just got shot. <laughs> but it was Mau Mau. Mau Mau just got happy. Do y'all know what that's like? <laughs> then I started noticing that the sound was getting very close to me. And as she rounded the corner, I noticed three things about Mau Mau that night. Number one, Mau Mau was running with her eyes shut. <laughs> Number two. I noticed that Mau Mau had done danced right out of her shoes. And number three, Mau Mau done shouted her teeth out of her head. <laughs> Y'all, she came by me, and about the time she got to the front, she hit the floor. The pastor gets up, he goes to the pulpit, and he says, we have a comedian here tonight that's going to come up here, and he's going to make us laugh. Anybody going to do anything about Mau Mau? <laughs> and why is it not bothering anybody but me that nobody knows where her teeth are? Why is it? Why is it? How many of you have ever been on a cruise? Ever been on a cruise? Oh, fantastic. Oh, we've got some latecomers. How y'all doing? Hey, how y'all doing? Where did y'all come from? Austin, Texas? That's a good little drive. No wonder you're late. 
You can be late all you want to. Hey, listen, I went on the cruise. I love going on the cruise. I'm going on one in January. The wonderful thing about cruises is they have sounds on the boat that you have to get used to. You know what I'm talking about? Like the one in the facility. It's got a magic button on the back wall. And when you press this magic button, it disposes of the things that needed to be disposed of. Now, I'm okay with that. I'm just not okay with the noise. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Now, if you ever find yourself sitting on that toilet, when you press the magic button, it will leave a hickey that will not quit. Do you understand me? It will not quit. I went on a cruise with my in-laws. I woke up the second day. I woke up the second. Are you going to take a picture? Hold on a second. Get my good side. Come on. Come on. I'm running out of time. Come, come on. Come on. Come on. Throw, throw me at it. Throw me at it. Throw me at it. Right here. Right here. Get a good one. So went on this cruise. Went on this cruise. I woke up the second day and I had a major headache. My, mother, my mother-in-law comes up to me and she goes, do you need some ibuprofen? Because that's what you do after you turn 65. You become a walking drug dealer. You have everything in your purse. She comes up to me an hour later. She goes, you still have a headache? I said, I do. She gave me four ibuprofen. An hour later, she came up to me and she gave me two more pills because I still had a headache. We go to dinner that night. She says, Mickey, I think I know why you still have your headache. Yeah, you say, "Uh uh-oh. I said, why is that? She said, well, I gave you six pills, but they were six stool softeners. (laughs) Y'all, my name is Mickey Bell. Thank you so much for letting me come and be a part of the show tonight.